So today we are looking at IMO level 2 paper for class 4 and we are going to attempt the achiever section here. So there are some tough questions. Let's go through them together. The first question in the achiever section is the product of number X and Y is 2880. The difference of both numbers X and Y is 32. If both numbers are multiples of 8, then find the sum of numbers X and Y. The options are given below. I'll allow you some time to go through it and think about it. So the two clues that we have here is that the product of X and Y is equal to 2880 and the second one is that the difference in both numbers that is X minus Y is equal to 32 and both of these numbers are multiples of 8 that means 8 times something is equal to X and 8 times something is equal to Y. And we need to find what is X plus Y. That is our final question. So let's look at the first clue where it says X times Y is equal to 2880. And also that both are multiples of 8. So let's find factors of 2880 with two eights in its factors. So let's find the factors of 2880 in terms of 8. So 8 and 360 make 2880. Let's find another factor by dividing by 8. So 8 times 4 is 32. Then 36 minus 32 is 4 and 0 comes down. 8 times 5 is 40. So we get the two factors of 8 because both x and y are multiples of 8. And further, 45 can be further split as 9 times 5. So the two numbers would be the combination of 8 and 9 will be the first number and the combination of 8 and 5 will be the second number. 8 times 9 would be x and 8 times 5 would be y. Well in that case x will be equal to 72 and y will be equal to 40 and if you calculate you will get 72 minus 40 is actually 32. So we know that this is the right answer because the question also says that the difference between the numbers is 32. And now finally x plus y that is 72 plus 40 will be equal to 112. Hence the right answer is option B. Next question, which of the following figure has the greatest perimeter if one line that is this box is one unit? So this is one unit. The options are given here. Take your time and think about the answer. So perimeter is the length of the boundaries. So let me explain with example how we can get to an answer quickly. So for this, I'll give you a quick clue how we can approach this. Now assume we have two rectangles. One is here I draw and the other I draw something like this. Okay. And I have a third rectangle which is something like this. Alright. Now let's assume this is 3 centimeters and this is 4. So this will also be 3 and this will also be 4. In this case, this will be 3, this will be 3, this is 4. Assume this is 2 and it's 1, 1, 1, 1. And how about this? Okay, let's assume this is 4, this is 3. Let's say this is 3 and this is 2. So this is 1 and 1. Now if you want to calculate the perimeters, you notice that the perimeter of this figure will be the greatest. How? Well, let's do this. This is 4 plus 4, 8 plus 3 plus 3, 6. So it is 8 plus 6 which is equal to 14. How about this? Well, if you notice, there is a 1 here which makes this 3 again. And there is this 1 here which makes this 4 again. So it eventually becomes same as your first figure. So this also is 3 plus 3 and 4 plus 4. That is 8 plus 6 which is equal to 14. However, this figure here, well, this is 3, this is 3, this is 4. This is 1, 
2, 3 and 4. So, it also makes it 8 plus 6 which is equal to 14. But in addition, it has these two boundary which adds two more units and this is 16 which is the greatest of all. So you see, now you know that you should count these extra boundaries and the figure with the most boundaries is the one with the greatest perimeter. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this has 6 extra boundaries. How about this and this? Well, we know this does not really matter. But 1 and 2, these two are the extra points. Here again, if we expand this, they just convert into the same rectangle. But these are the extra two lines that need to be counted in the boundary. Similarly, here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 extra lines. So my figure 1 which has 6 extra lines, that is option A is the right answer to have the greatest perimeter. Next question. The given bar graph shows the number of children in all the families staying in Beverly Apartments. So this is a bar graph here and the interval here per unit is 6. Now the number of families which have dash children is one third of the number of families which have one child. We have to find what is the answer here from the options given below. So we need to find how much is one third of the number of families which have one child. Well, this is the bar graph. It is somewhere in the middle and we know that this interval is six units. So the middle is three units. So we do this point would be 24 plus three. That is equal to 27. So this 27 is to be substituted here. So 1 by 3 times 27 is equal to, well, 3 goes 9 times 9. So we need to find that bar which has the number 9 in the number of families. Well, 9 is somewhere here because this is half. 6 plus 3 is 9, which matches this bar. So that means number of families which have 3 children is one third of the number of families which have one child and answer option B is the right answer. Next question. Which of the following statements is incorrect? Given options below, A says 35,000 plus 8 tenths plus 3 ones. Is it 35083? B says sum of fifth multiple of 9 and seventh multiple of 7 is that is 49. C says Roman numeral for 111 is CXI and D says 3 is a common factor of 18 and 24. Think about it and choose the incorrect one. Well, you should be able to spot this quickly because if you look at B, it says sum of fifth multiple of 9 which is 5 times 9 and 7th multiple of 7 which is 7 times 7 is supposed to be 49. But if you notice 7 times 7 itself is 49 and 5 times 9 is 45. So definitely the sum of these two will be greater than 49 and not equal to 49. Hence B is the incorrect option. Now last and final question in this section. Let's solve this. 76,392 is 4,882 more than star. What is the difference between star and the product of 68 and 6? Try to solve it. I'll give you some time. So it says 76,392 is 4882 more than star that means star more 4882 so i can easily get my star which will be equal to 76392 minus 4882 let me quickly subtract this so i get my star to be equal to 71510 my next step is to find the product of 68 and 6 because later I need to subtract that from this value. 
So 68 times 6, 6 8s are 48, 8 carry 4, 6 6s are 36 plus 4 is 40. So I need to subtract 408 from the star value. Hence the value that I will get after the subtraction is 71,102 which is option C and is my right answer. Hope you picked up on the tips that we went through for these questions. For more such practice questions and tips, do like and subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell icon so that you can get regular notifications of the videos that we post. Till we meet again, take care.